browser download. Okay, get brave, get brave for Windows. So we're gonna click on that. I'm using uh, Firefox for this. Run the installer. Well, I think I did that, but uh, it didn't do anything. Okay. The only thing I can see is up here. There's the brown brave. Exit. All right. That's the same damn thing that I deleted. I had three of these. Okay, we're going to open it. Okay. This is all the same crap that I've been doing before. software. Now you watch. See what I mean? I'm not asking for an update. I'm asking for the whole browser. So... We don't need any more damn rain, that's for sure. Um, against my better judgment, I'm going into the shop and do a little flap on uh, my bad experiences that I had yesterday with the Brave browser. Now, here we go. Before we get started, uh, yesterday, against my better judgment also, this is the Garad radio that I like so very much. It's dead. It's dead. It makes squeals a little bit, but that's about it. It's totally dead. I put the voltage in with my power supply fed in exactly 68 volts instead of 67 and a half. I put a new uh, D battery in here. I went and bought a new D battery and I was debating whether to take this thing out and see if I can find out why. Something is dead. It's also drawing 15 milliampers without the A battery in there. That's impossible. So something's wrong or shorted or very leaky. I had someone recap this, but it's been dead from the day I got it. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of putting out against my better judgment also. Today is my <laughs> against my better judgment day because uh, I can't seem to, I don't have any, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Anyways, I'm tempted to put this offer out there to anybody wants to if they can restore this thing for me. It's been recapped. It looks like it's a very neat job, but it's not working. It's dead, uh, virtually dead. Um, in order to replace the tubes, I got to take this out, and um, I'm not going to do that. I kind of like figured it's just going to be a shelf queen, and that's it. The power switch is right here. And before I sent this out to have it recapped, I guess it was last year, I couldn't get the, the switch back in. I couldn't line it up and get it back in here again. So I'm going to have the same issue again, taking it apart. So uh, if anybody out there has the knowledge and the eyesight to get this thing going, I don't think the oscillator is working. When I turn the dial, it, it uh, makes uh, squealing and weird noises. Um, but it's like a, a, a raspy sound, like it's almost like it's got a um, shorter tuning condenser, but I put the uh, ohmmeter on it. It's the, the blades are not shorting. 
So there's something crazy in there. I don't know. I know, know these radios from what I read that if you upset the wiring, the way the wiring is placed in there when you do your recap, they're known to oscillate. So if the recap wasn't done exactly right in exactly the same placement of the parts, um, the radio won't work or it'll make a lot of noise. And it's impossible for me to get in there and do the uh, a t tuning condenser trimmer screws. I can only do them when it's out of the case. So anyways, I'm going to put this thing back together. There's a video on here on YouTube about this video that I made, about this radio that I made last year, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm very hesitant about putting this up, but I've been thinking about this ever since I got it back. Kind of like, you know, I think there's only one guy that could fix this thing, and he wouldn't do it, of course. It would cost me uh, my life savings, <laughs> which isn't very much, is Mr. Carlson. He's probably the only guy that could fix this thing and get it working. Um, I've never seen Mr. Carlson work on these type radios, to my knowledge. And I'm pretty familiar with the videos he's got up there. But if anybody can do it, he's the man that can do it. So, all right, enough of that. Now I'm going to get into the Brave browser, and I'm going to put my ugly kisser on, on video. Okay, folks, what do we got for time here? Uh, it's 10 minutes past 10 in the morning. Cloudy, chilly morning, April 2nd. In the year 2024, in the year 2025, yeah, that's only one more year, that song, <laughs> that's only next year. Oh, world's going to hell, but I don't want to get into the, under that topic. Don't get me started on that. Okay, here's the situation. Here is the situation, folks. Story of my life. As most of you know, I'm using Windows 7 64-bit because it's much easier for me to use. I'm much more comfortable with it. However, I do have Windows 10 in my shuttle computer, and Tommy has Windows 10 in his shuttle. Now, yesterday morning, <clears throat> Brave Browser was working good. Now, most of the time I use Google Chrome. Matter of fact, I use Google Chrome to upload my videos because in Brave Browser, I am not, uh, in other words, I'm not signed into my channel on the Brave Browser. Neither am I on the email or anything else, or the, or the radio forum or whatever I'm on. Only thing I use Brave Browser for is to watch videos or surf the web or whatever. However, I don't have any problem with Google Chrome, except a lot of times on Google Chrome, lately I notice there is a small ad on some videos, which on the bottom right hand corner you can click out of. That's something new that started about a week or so ago. Now, the video, the big long video, the hour and 45 minute video on the deck, Tommy did all the editing, but he missed and had my ugly face for the longest time. And when I was inside Home Depot, I couldn't keep the microphone up. And I told him, take that part out, and he left it in. And <laughs> But that was 8.8 um, .8 gigs on 1080p. It didn't go in as 8.8, .8, but when he rendered it <coughs> in Windows Movie Maker. That's what it came out to be. But that's beside the point. By the time Tommy gave me the file to upload, because I told him, you do the video editing on the whole thing. We used two cameras. We used my camera to start out till the battery went out, and then we continued on with the uh, with his camera. Okay. <coughs> And I was in a lot of pain. My neck 
It's getting harder. I, I, I walk. I'm having a hard time holding my head up. I'm going to be just like my mom. My mom used to walk around holding her head up like this. She died at age 76. <clears throat> my brother, he's hunched over. And I'm following the same trait. Anyways, my problem is, and it's been that way for a number of years, even with reading glasses on, I'm at the computer screen, and I'm pushed as close as I can, and I'm like this. I'm probably about that far away between my glasses and the computer screen in order to read it. And then I have to have a magnifying glass and tie that. I use 3.5x mag uh, reading glasses. <coughs> so, all that hunching, and then when I'm working, you saw me on the, towards the end, my knees were hurting. Usually they get weak, and I have all I can do to get up. They bothered me a little bit. I was getting sharp pains in both knees towards the end of that video on the deck. And I'm underneath there, and I'm putting the screws down, and I can't see the slot in the screw. So I have to take the screw on the, with the drill driver, put it in there like that, and then go over, and then get right down on there with my face to find the pre-drilled hole that I put in <coughs> and put it in. Working underneath that air conditioner, I was in a lot of pain, and my neck gives me a lot of trouble getting worse. When I walk anywhere in a store like in Home Depot, my neck is bothering me. I'm trying to hold my neck up, and I'm going to end up like this, like my, my mom used to walk around like this. My wife says you should wear a neck brace. I'm not going to be going to wear, around, wear a damn neck brace. And my neck hurts. It's arthritis in the spine. I've had that in the vertebrae in my neck. I remember that years ago. Been that way for 20 years probably. But walking around like that, and I try to hold it up, and it's terrible, terrible, terrible. So everything I do, like when working on these little radios here, I gotta have. I got my my 5x. You know, the visor thing you've seen with the different lenses, and I got the max magnification, but you can only work in distances like this. So that means my face has got to be right on top of it in order to see what I'm doing. And I try and try and try to repair these small radios. This is one radio I do not want to get rid of, and I will not get rid of it. I've donated the other ones to one of my viewers. I had two more I bought, I, stupid me, I bought two, two more, about, I don't know, three or four months ago, I, I had to lose track of time, thinking I can fix them, and I get them, and I can't fix them, I can't see what I'm doing, I'm sorry to be so aggravated, but you know, I try not to be, but you know, but anyways, getting back to the Brave Browser, <clears throat> Most of the time, Google Chrome works good, except I get an ad on some videos, not all of them, that, you know, you get the, you click on the video and you get the circle around like that, and you got to wait like 15, 20 seconds, and the video, then there's an ad, and then the bottom right-hand corner, you can click off of it, you can click off of it fine, I, I got, you, uh, uBlock Origin is the only one I have in Google Chrome, okay? So I haven't had any problems with it. But sometimes Google Chrome gives me trouble. I have Firefox, but I understand that I'm not logged into my YouTube channel or my email on Firefox. The only one I'm logged into is Google Chrome. If Google Chrome stops working, I'm out of business except I gotta go to Windows 10, which is a obstacle course. 
when I make a video, I can't find where I put it. Tommy don't seem to have any problem, but I do. So, what I did on that big video, a uh, big video, is by the time Tommy gave me the file to upload, and I saw 8.8 .8 gigs, I started uploading it, and it was 10 o'clock at night when I started on Easter Sunday night. Uh, Sunday night, I, I, I uploaded it. And it said an hour and 30 minutes. And I thought, that's not bad. But I left it on and turned the monitor off and let the whole thing upload overnight. That's fine if we don't lose any power. If you lose power in the middle of that, I guess you got to start all over. But we didn't lose any power. Because <clears throat> I have a UPS, but that wouldn't last <laughs> eight hours running the computer. And not only that, it wouldn't work anyways. Because when you lose power, the modem's down. So your internet is off. But anyways, that didn't happen. So the next morning, it was fine. I published it. It was fine. It was all ready to go. So this was at 7 a.m. on Monday morning. So I, uh, I don't know if I'm still recording. I assume I am. So on... I published it, then I went out and had my breakfast at McDonald's, which I usually do. After I came back, it was fine on um, Google Chrome, of course. But however, The problem with Google Chrome, the reason I've been using the Brave browser is simply because of the blockage of YouTube with the ads. But I haven't had that. Knock on wood. In quite a long time. Because whenever I got that, I went to the Brave browser and I was able to watch YouTube videos without any problem. So anyways, that morning... After I came back from McDonald's on Monday morning, I checked the videos up there and playing fine. So I clicked off my videos and I went to, I was still on Google Chrome, I went to Google Chrome and checked on other videos in my subscription. And the videos in my subscription, some of them were blanked out. Google Chrome screws up like that. It's all white out. The title is there, but there's all white outs. So I typed in live cam, because I always watch a live cam video. And the whole list on the right-hand side of the screen shows the live cam. Half of them were blanked out. When you hold the mouse over, then it appears. So here we go with Google Chrome white out again. I call it white out. When it does that, I say to hell with Chrome, I'm going to watch videos on Brave. And Brave don't white out. It works good. So, what I usually do is I watch the video that I made, but I watch the whole thing on the Brave browser. Although it plays okay on the Chrome browser, it's just that the Chrome browser screws up on other videos, even on my own, and shows a white sometimes. as a blank screen instead of the thumbnails, the big thumbnails that the, you see, they're all white. And when you hold the mouse over, it clear, it shows it. So anyways, I'm talking too long. So Brave Browser, Monday morning, was working good. That was yesterday morning, okay? Today's Tuesday. So a little later on in the day... I don't remember, it was late morning, early noontime. The, um, I checked my email. I don't get much email anymore. I get very little. So, I went to check some live cam videos on Google Chrome, and they're all white out again. 
The hell with you, Google Chrome. I closed Google Chrome down, brought up Brave Browser. Brave Browser comes up fine. That was uh, around lunchtime yesterday. Went into the form, radio form, works fine. Um, but I'm not logged in, I'm just as a guest. And everything worked fine. When I click on YouTube, browse collapses, shuts right down. So I bring up, I bring up Brave browser again. I had to check and see if I was still recording, and I was, so I'll be edited a little bit here. So I, I bring up the um, Brave browser again, and up on the upper right hand corner it says. Brave browser was not shut down properly. So on the top right hand corner I clicked restore. Immediately Brave crashed. So I brought it up again. It just closes, just like I X'd it out. So it got that message again. The hell with it. So I went to um, Google. And I typed in YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, hit enter. As soon as I hit enter, Brave crashed again. But only YouTube. Nothing else. Only YouTube does that. I can go on any other site. There's no problem. So I restarted my computer. Tried it again, didn't work. Shut down the computer again. No, before I shut it down again, I uninstalled the Brave Browser in the Add and Remove Programs. It's not called that anymore, but that's what I call it. Add and Remove Programs. I saw the Brave in there, and I clicked Brave. It took a while to get it out. Got it out. Then, after that, I restarted the computer. After I restarted it, everything was fine. Went on Google Chrome and tried to re-download the Brave browser once again. The Brave, Bra Brave XE, and there's some other things here. All right, it's the only one. I went to Brave.com, okay? So, down, you got a little on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. There's a, you know, it's downloaded, shows an arrow. Down where the taskbar is, and it's downloaded. So, okay. So, I show file in the folder. And with that, there's the file. XE file. I right clicked and hit open. I don't double click. I right click and open. And all the things come up about installing and everything else. And then a the notice comes up saying there are no upgrades for Brave. So you got your choice. Cancel or retry or whatever, something like that, I don't know. Didn't work. I tried it again. And again. I have three exe files in my downloads. Same damn thing. I'm at my wit's end. So I couldn't even get the Brave browser. I couldn't download it again. But it probably wouldn't work on YouTube anyways. So it looks like I'm stuck with Google Chrome. I can't use Edge. When I got this computer from Steve, 
the Windows 7 64-bit. It had the Edge browser in there, but it's no longer supported by Windows 7, thanks to Microsoft. Money greeting bastards. So, <clears throat> all right. So I got Firefox. That's my only thing. But I don't think Firefox is going to work either. That was always my always good, my good standby. And there are other browsers out there I know nothing about. And no, I'm not going to Linux. I'm too damn old to learn that complicated thing. So, um... Anyways... I could use my Windows 10. I don't have the Brave, Brave browser. I almost screwed up on that again. I don't have the Brave browser in my Windows 10. I never put it in. Um, I don't use it, but I'm going to have to start using it if I have a total failure on Google Chrome. It's just a matter of time. It could happen any time. This morning, everything's working good, but I got no fallback in case Google Chrome fails. So, I tried it again. So, apparently, it's non-existent anymore for Windows 7. I guess it just won't install. You could say I should have left it alone and not take it out, but however, it won't work on YouTube at all. So it's going to come to a point where, if nothing works... I'm just going to get out of YouTube, because I'm totally disgusted with this. It's just one thing after another. You know? Why should I strain myself trying to read these things and how to install this and install that? End up paying somebody to do this or paying somebody to do that. and You know? I, I, I'm sorry to be negative, but you know, things like this make me a negative person, because I'm negative anyways on everything. And I don't mean to be, you know, I'm thoroughly disgusted with the, the garage radio. Um, I'm disgusted with computers. And uh, what I love to do on woodworking, it's getting harder and harder and harder. It's getting to a point where I just can't do anything anymore. Um, when I get done working, about halfway through getting done, I'm hunched over like this. I can't, I can't bring my head up. I finished out, I get all wiped out. All wiped out, totally. And I told my wife, my wife said, take it easy, Dad, take it easy. I don't want nothing to happen to you. In my mind, I want to do these things. I can do them. I'm getting to a point where I can't do nothing anymore. And my wife says the same thing about herself. Her mobility is hardly, you know, almost non-existent. She's got all kinds of problems, which I'm not going to go through on this channel. I get to a point where I say, to hell with it. When I'm dead and gone, I won't know anything, get rid of it all. I got totes in there I want to get rid of. The guy never got back to me. It's the story of my life. It's pretty bad when you have to pay somebody to get rid of stuff that you've had for years. I love this hobby. Whether I could continue on it or not, I don't know. My neck is my biggest problem right now. You know, Monday, when I got up, I had to lay down for a while. Try to get there. I couldn't straighten up. My neck, I couldn't get my head up. The neck hurts. It hurts now trying to hold it, hold it up. I'm going to end up like my brother. My brother was like this. He'd walk along like this, and he'd have to go up like this to see you. My mother had to walk like this 
going, you know, when she was able to get out and walk. And I could see myself doing that. I try to walk to the post office. I'm not too far from it. And it's a strain holding my head up. My neck hurts. My wife says, wear a neck brace. I'm not going to go walking around with a damn neck brace on. But it's all this hunching over. Can't see what I'm doing without putting my face on top of things. No matter what magnification I have, I can't get myself to do anything. I'm sawing wood. i got to have my face right down on it to see where I'm going. I line up the chop saw with the, the line I put there. Okay, well, I always had to do that anyways, and then cut it. And when I read a ruler, i got to have it close by. I can't just work at arm's length and just draw a line like you see a lot of these guys do and cut. Zip, zip. I have to be very careful when I do things. But anyways, I'm talking too long, so... Anyways, the plea is out. If anybody is qualified to get this radio going and get in touch with me, I may leave the comments on in this video, but um, if there are any problems, it'll be promptly uh, block, cut, cut off and maybe the video will be removed. I probably will take it down anyways in time. So I enjoy making the project videos, I enjoy sharing things, and I have to do my building and construction and everything the way I know how to do them, and the way I can afford. The right way is to replace all the 2x6s. There's the little dark areas on the end, I saw it on the video, I couldn't see it in person. On the ends where I cut it off, I showed there's a couple little dark circles there. It's probably a little soft there, but by the time that wood will totally rot out, which I'd say in six, seven years probably would have to be replaced. Uh, physically, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, so. But I won't be around by then. Thanks for watching, everybody. You take care, and sorry to be a little on the negative side. Uh, please understand. Please understand. It's not easy getting old. Take care. I appreciate those of you who do like my videos. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.